Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Half-Life and Counter-Strike, the original PC games, on your PS Vita using a program called Vita X Hash 3D. So this is actually really cool. It lets you play. Um, they're actually the Steam versions of the games. So what you want to do to get this working is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Once it starts up, press Select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys What's do next? Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, the link will be in the description and it's just called Vita X Ash 3D. So what you want to do is first click the VPK and that will begin downloading and you also want to download data.zip. So make sure these files are downloading. Then you want to scroll down and you want to read the installation guide. So I'll be showing you how to do it in this video anyway, but you will need your own copies of Half-Life and Counter-Strike um, if you wish to add them. You don't have to add both, you can add one or the other. And these are the mods that are supported right now. Um, you can add mods as well, which is pretty cool, but I'll probably make another video for that. So once your files have finished downloading, just head over to your downloads folder. And as you can see, I have these two extra files in here. These are all of my Counter-Strike files. So I got this from my Steam copy. So it's up to you where you guys get yours from. And then I've also got the same for the original Half-Life. And you can tell this is Half-Life because of the icon and exactly the same with the Counter-Strike. So what you guys want to do is just get data.zip, then right click it and select extract here. So it's going to give you a data folder. All you want to do is just get these two files and drop them into the data folder. So now it's just going to look something like this. And basically guys, you want to just drag and drop them into the xash3d folder. And then it's going to say replace the files in a destination. Just do it and then just wait for this to complete. It should take about a minute. Right guys, so once it's finished, just going into the file, make sure you just check they're all in there. There will be some other files in here. Most of these are just for mods and the main launcher. So go back to your downloads folder and what you want to do is just make sure your PS Vita is connected. So drag and drop the VPK first, Vita X Ash 3D VPK, just drag and drop it on the root. And then you want to just drag and drop the whole data folder. And so what this is going to do is it's going to just replace everything um, so it's just going to write itself into your current one. So this might take quite a while because these games are actual PC games. So they're roughly um, probably like 300 megabytes a game. So it's 700 megabytes in total. So just be patient, wait for it to complete. And then when it's finished, I'll show you guys what to do on your PS Vita. Alright guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita, what you want to do is just go and find your UXO folder, scroll all the way down and look for the APK on the root. So here it is, Vita X Ash 3D VPK, press X, press X again to install it. So once it's installed, just press circle to go all the way back, press the PS Home button and you can close out Vita Shell. Now just look for the program on your home screen, so here it is for me and let's just start it up. So then just tap start to open it and it's going to come up with our two games. So we've got Valve Half-Life and then Sea Strike for Counter-Strike. So let me show you um, how to play. You just use, these to go, uh, use the D-pad to go up and down and then just press X to select your game. So let's just test out Half-Life first. So just press X now give it probably about 40 seconds just to load up. If your PS Vita is on a black screen like this, don't worry, uh, the game is just loading. So let's just do a, I think, let's just do hazard course because that's like a demo sort of thing. So I can just prove this works. But as you can see on the screen, we've got load game, configurations, multiplayer, previews and quit. Okay, so in the top right hand corner we actually have an FPS counter as well which is pretty cool uh, this thing right now is on about 60 FPS this does have like full working sound as well but I won't turn it on um, press your key okay let's just go in here so it's completely playable and the jump key for this is circle you can just learn the keys but I'm pretty sure um, X is like activate triangle is crouch I can't remember what square does but 
you'll get the hang of the keys and if you don't like them you can just change it in configurations. So now let's just press start, let's scroll all the way down to quit and let's give counter strike a go. So now we're going to do the same thing but just launch up a game of counter strike. Oh there are also mods and stuff you can add, um, that's all on the github page. Um, you know, you can find the files online. I probably won't cover mods in this video, uh, just because otherwise it'd be too long. But if you guys are interested, I could always do another video on it. Um, let's just set up a game really quick. Let's just do a LAN game. Uh, create a new game. And choose a map. So once you press X on OK, give it a few seconds to load because it has to load in the whole map. But once it loads in, it's completely playable. Right guys, so we're on the Italy map right now, and as you can see it's running really well, it looks really nice. We're on about 65 FPS, going up to 70, so definitely playable. Um, there's actually lots of different um, configurations you can do to this. Because this is a PC game, obviously you would use lots of different keys for different things, um, but you know, you can pretty much change all of it in the configurations. To do that, you just press start, um, then go down to configurations press X then go to controls and you can edit everything in here so if you just press uh, right on the d-pad until you get to this box then press X and now you can start to edit stuff so we've got move forward um, all of this kind of stuff let's just have a look and see what's in here so to edit it press X on it and then press the button you want it as but yeah that's um, pretty much how you do it so let's just do OK on that Let's go to done, let's go to resume game. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. This is how you run Half-Life and Counter-Strike on your PS Vita. Um, very cool program, and I'm actually surprised how well this runs considering it's a PC game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.